Welcome back. We're sitting down with the director of the relatively new School of Informatics, Computing, and Cyber Systems at NAU, Dr. Benjamin Riddell. Ben, let's talk about the school. And when I say it's relatively new, it seems like it was just yesterday that the school got its approval and got its feet on the ground and running. But it's been a couple of years. That's right. We were founded in 2016. And the reason for founding this school is to get an interdisciplinary and agile approach to some of the fastest moving and most exciting domains of science and engineering. What's the need out there globally for students to graduate with this type of education? These are some of the most exciting areas to be in right now in terms of the job market or interdisciplinary science and engineering. And what we've done is fairly unusual. We've merged together the disciplines of computer science, uh, informatics, which is also sometimes called data science, uh, electrical engineering, and now we're adding to that with emerging topics like uh, engineering for security and, and cybersecurity. Degree programs within the school. There has been some aggressive growth in that area and talk about the existing degree programs and what the forward thinking is relative to establishing new degree programs. So we have degrees at the bachelor's, the master's, and the PhD level. We have accelerated master's programs which are a one year uh, in addition to bachelor's program in all of our major areas. So that allows you to quickly move into the master's. Uh, the PhD is a research program. It's the informatics and computing PhD. And that's an interdisciplinary PhD that brings together all of our areas. Uh, at the bachelor's level, we have electrical engineering programs, computer science, applied computer science, uh, computer engineering. We have uh, bachelor's in informatics, and we're looking to grow new programs, both on campus and online. Uh, new programs that are coming in soon include software engineering, uh, online bachelor's and master's in cybersecurity, and an electrical engineering technology program with power systems emphasis. Ben, talk about for a moment the types of skill sets that students here are being provided with when they leave NAU with their degrees. So it's a wide variety of skill sets because we are a diverse organization. Uh, we have almost 50 faculty, which provides us with a lot of expertise and ability to offer a lot of different types of training and research opportunities. Uh, we have over a thousand students and, and growing, uh, particularly in our grad programs. And we do around $5 million uh, and rapidly growing in research expenditures per year right now. And with that, we can we can cover a lot of different exciting topics. So uh, programming is there and computer science skills, also electrical engineering and power systems, um, autonomous vehicles and AI topics are there, informatics and data science. And uh, these are just a few of the topics that we train students on right now. The trend line in terms of students wanting to be a part of this school is on the rise, I would think. That's right, and our fastest growing areas right now are really in cyber systems, uh, cyber engineering, and cyber security, um, in addition to the computer science areas. So out of all those skills and career paths, those are really the hottest and the fastest growing. And the students who come out of our programs uh, with those skill sets are going to work in Phoenix, in the Valley, uh, with that booming tech sector there. Uh, they're going to California, to Silicon Valley, um, they're going to um, all kinds of tech companies and large companies around the country to fill those critical skills gaps in, uh, in computing. But these are high paying jobs. They're very high paying jobs. These are the highest paying jobs right now. Um, six figure starting salaries are pretty common now. And you'll see that the news is full uh, almost on a weekly basis of uh, stories about how employers in the United States can't get enough talent and enough graduates in these areas. Does this, this, this put NAU on the cutting edge of this? Absolutely. And in particular, I think what's cutting edge is that we've brought together those different areas. Uh, it's much easier for us to bring together the applications people, the basic science people, the students, the researchers, uh, across all of these electrically, electronic, uh, computing, and data focused areas. So that interdisciplinary and mixed flavor uh, breaks down boundaries and it allows us to rapidly innovate and move forward. And there's competition out there, Ben, and, and, and not just competition among universities here in the United States, but there are other 
countries with their universities and their programs in these areas that are rushing to get students and people through this type of education and training because this particular area of, of study and, and of profession is very important and very important in the global economy. It sure is, and that's why every university is rapidly adding programs and trying to grow in this area, because there's so much demand. It's the fastest growing area of the economy and of college degrees. Uh, but, you know, NEU has some advantages for it. It's, uh, it's got a lot going for it. Uh, Flagstaff is a fantastic place to live. NAU has always been one of the best places to do a degree, especially undergraduate degrees. Um, but today, if you're coming here for grad studies and you're in one of our areas of research emphasis, you're really getting a world-class exposure to research topics. Uh, you're working with the top experts in the world in your field. And so this is now an exciting place and time to do a graduate degree as well. Talk to me about some of the, the research that's being done here at the school. Our research programs are really exciting right now. Uh, we have built some world-class research emphasis areas and they're very interdisciplinary. They, it's hard to pigeonhole us into one topic right now. Uh, so we have some world-class strengths and emphasis areas in uh, cyber engineering and that's microelectronics, um, building advanced systems for the Department of Defense, uh, and in inventing technologies that are inherently resistant. So this is really next generation stuff. Um, so we have expertise in that in the department right now and are doing a lot of funded research in that area. It's a great opportunity for graduate studies. We also have an area of strength in informatics and in particular uh, in astroinformatics. So applying uh, data science, statistics, and computing tools to big data problems uh, dealing with astronomy. Uh, mm. Also in biology and in the health and medical sciences, we do that. And our biggest area right now is in ecology and the environment for informatics. So uh, we have world-class experts here in SIX um, as across NAU who are focused on climate issues, um, on ecology and the environment, and on all aspects of, of eco-informatics. Um, there are researchers here in SIX who have uh, instruments on the space station. Mm. Uh, we have uh, an expert who is one of the, uh, the top mappers uh, and data providers for greenhouse gas emissions and is involved in the IPCC process. Um, we have uh, experts who run global camera networks and those monitor environmental change and plant health and uh, many more as well. So it's a pretty exciting time to be here as a researcher and as a grad student because we're really turning into a world-class center of excellence. And, and you heard him mention SIX, which is the acronym for the School of Informatics, Computing, and Cyber Systems. Dr. Benjamin Ruddle, thank you so much for joining us here on Inside NAU and good luck in expanding this school in the future.